Now at 10, Southern Miss hosted its annual powwow today. A recap of the event is just ahead. Plus, Girl Scouts in the Pine Belt are in the spirit of giving. We'll hear more from members on why this was a learning experience between the sisterhood. Last night was a cool night, but we're mild once again here in the Pine Belt. We can expect that incremental warm-up to continue in the near term before our rain chances resume. Your news at 10 starts right now. Tonight, WDAM 7 News is proud to be on your side with WDAM 7 News at 10. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Keandra Malloy. Southern Miss hosted an annual event today which fe focused on traditional Native American culture. It was all a part of the 18th, 18th Miss Southern Miss Pow Wow. Charles Harrington has that story. For nearly two decades, USM has hosted this powwow, which features traditional Native American dancing, arts and crafts, and food. Ralph Isaac, a member of the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians, participates in the event each year. Ever since David Havitt, we've always been here to support our students, you know, and then just to support powwow to share all of our cultures and traditions and see a lot of our young people dancing and our singers and just, it's always, it's always fun over here. The powwow was co-hosted by the USM Center for American Indian Research and Studies and the Golden Eagle Intertribal Society. That group is an organization dedicated to supporting Native American students at USM. Powwow participants say they're excited each year to share their traditional culture with non-Native American students at Southern Miss and other members of the Hattiesburg area community. To be able to host this powwow, it's amazing because it's, it's like a big Native American gathering, but we also welcome anybody and everybody to come into the circle with us. It is educational. It's good for people to see things so that they don't have, you know, their own bias and stuff about that. You get to see the culture and see that you know, hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And it kind of gives people a better idea of things that are different. Members of Native American tribes from Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana participated. Charles Harrington, WDAM7, on your side. Now, earlier today, dozens of people got their heart rate up right, to raise it. money for heart disease research at the Pine Belt Heart Walk. Today's walk on William Carey's campus also served as the 100 year celebration of the American Heart Association. This was William Carey's first year hosting the walk. The American Heart Association says all funds from the walk go toward heart health research. We think it's very fitting to be here in the heart of downtown Hattiesburg, but also uh, at Mississippi's leading medical university. Uh, our mission is to support things like this for medical research, whether it's cancer research, cardio research, cardiac research. So we're just very pleased that it's here and even prouder that we've exceeded the goal in our fundraising efforts. We'll and WCU raised more than $101,000 for this year's Pine Belt Heart Walk. And lots of folks in Hattiesburg hit the basketball court at the family wide today to help survivors of the recent Hurricane Helene in North Carolina. This three on three hoops tournament was a fundraiser to support the YMCA Blue Ridge Assembly near Asheville. About one dozen teams participated. They lost about $26 million due to the hurricane. Uh, right now, this our delegation, our kids, put together this tournament as a fundraiser. Everything's going back to the YM Blue Ridge Assembly. We always felt like the, the YMCA is one of the best organiz a Christian organizations, so we decided, to, hey, we're going to come and help them. Anything we can do to kind of give back to help the people over there in North Carolina, so I'm having a good time giving back. Now, the folks at the Family Y say $1,500 was raised during today's event. Now enough is enough, a Hattiesburg based community group stepped up to be a family for those who can't spend Thanksgiving with their loved ones. The group prepared a full Thanksgiving menu for free, inviting members of the community to come in and fellowship. Now leaders say their top priority is always to promote the unity by creating a family atmosphere. To come out for us, us feeding the community today for us, the people did don't have families that you know missing out for us, their loved ones and everything and then for us, us to come together as a family to fill in those spots for as them being able to be around family feel welcome and everything like that just to come together and you know be a community as one 
Now the group says the next event is in the works and it's going to be a Valentine's Day ball. And in the spirit of Thanksgiving and giving back, girls, Girl Scout troops from the greater Hattiesburg area spent the day doing several service projects. The Girl Scouts packed and sorted meal kits for Edward Street Fellowship Center Food Pantry. They also sorted pet food and decorated distribution bags for Edward Street clients. The Girl Scouts say it was a learning experience they are glad to share as a sisterhood. It's important to do this today because I like to help people that don't have what they need. It's important to me because it helps the homeless this is important to me because um, <clears throat> the homeless people deserve what we have. It's important to do these projects because some people out there need help and we came to help them. You get to meet kind of sometimes important people in the community and um, you get to help out in your community. Now to join a local Girl Scout troop, you can visit gsgms.org. Now the Southern Miss Sculpture turned up the heat today at the program's annual iron pour. Students and faculty worked together to fire up one of the university's furnaces, melting down iron and pouring it into molds. The school also invited the community to get involved. Folks could buy scratch plates to carve which were used to create iron blocks. Visiting artist Hugh Patton worked alongside the students today. He says the experience, it, the experience establishes foundational skills for young artists. It's really magical to like be involved in a small group of people who have like the same kind of purpose and drive and passion for something. With the Southern Miss Sculpture say, this fall tradition has been running for about 30 years. The rest of the weekend is looking nice with clouds returning to the picture, but guess what? There's a catch. There are rain chances next week, but we do get to look forward to a cool off. You can help WDAM7 honor Pine Belt Vets. Upload your images to WDAM.com slash vets.